you're coming too. Join us as we grow from a building channel to a sailing channel. One day we'll be floating in the tropics and I'll be drinking a margarita. Our heading is set south and our home-built boat is getting us there. Can't wait to show you guys. We're Salt and Tar and this is our life. We're happy to share and thanks for watching. Welcome to Port San Luis, Avila Beach, or as the locals say, Port Slow. 20 miles south of our home port, but it too feels like home. We've had a few boats here, including our last one, when we decided to sail north and sell her to have a chunk of change to start building Redaviva eight years ago. Now that that loop is complete and we're cruising again, our eyes are set back on Mexico. But until November, when hurricane season ends, we're living in the moment and soaking up all the good vibes we can get. Wait, I'm gonna get it. Doing it! Look at her go! All this musical goodness inspired Garrett to dust off his guitar. The beautiful thing about wooden boats is how they feel alive. All these people, all this music, all this joy just soaking in through her decks. Oh yeah, it's wagon wheel. Musicians were born today. Ah! <laughs> oh, hell yeah, I'm a musician. <laughs> <laughs> this soggy bottom crew brought so much life on board. Thanks for filling our cup. beautiful Avila and find another beautiful place. Garrett's reeling up the anchor now and we're gonna go fuel up at the fuel dock over at the very far north pier and then um, we're gonna tie up to the work dock where we can fill up on water and then we're gonna stay there overnight because I think to time Point Conception uh, we want to leave maybe about 5 a.m. Point Conception's been called California's Cape Horn. It's the gateway to Southern California and demands respect. It's claimed countless ships with its tumultuous conditions. Garrett's been around at least a dozen times and my first time around was my very first ocean sailing experience. Timing the weather makes all of the difference. Yes, it's time to leave the nest of our home port. It was awesome, we got to spend as much time as we have here, and it's time to go. You wanna switch? You wanna switch yourself? Yeah. <laughs> Sixty. Not close. <laughs> <laughs> so far, I'm surprised how well the uh, Sharpie um, depth marks are holding up. It's bearing better than the paint. Yeah. Who 
Who needs an electric windlass when you have a roof? <laughs> Who needs a gym when you have a windlass? <laughs> Keep going. Yep. Good. How's it going? Uh, we're just coming in uh, at the end of the pier, hoping to tie up and get some fuel. We'll uh, tie up and see you when you get there. All right, thank you. Okay, so 15, 20 minutes. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, buddy. Okay. Okay. And then the blues channels in normal spot. Okay.
Well, the very good news is that the fog is super high. I can see Avila. I can see all the way to Pismo, the sand dunes. Oh, this is gonna be good. This is exactly what we wanted. This is probably like the least amount of fog we've had in the morning that I've seen. Coffee is underway. Southern California yet. <laughs> no. But this might be the last time we have to put shoes on. You ready? All right, there probably won't be too much for you all to see for a little bit. At least maybe for about an hour. But we're casting off the lines. Boom. And uh, I think we're ready to leave the nest of our home port. Home ports, kinda. Got a lot of kelp off of that ball. You see the uh, white buoy there? Here. Say what? I'm gonna circle around this little ball here. Okay. the channel. Would you like some coffee? Sure. California's elbow is what I like to call it, but that's Point Arguello and that's Point Conception. And just on the south side of that point is where we're going to anchor in Coho. It is just the most beautiful morning. saying to Ruth, you know, you don't want to be out 
anywhere at sea in storm conditions and thunderstorms, lightning storms, but I especially don't want to be off of Point Conception in those conditions. Yeah. It's not a point to take lightly. So I'm turning around. Yeah. We've only we been agree. out like, yeah, I concur. <laughs> All right. I don't want to. Well, it's good to be prepared and good to be cautious. Yeah, I mean, when you have the option, I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing making us leave today. I mean, we want to, but we don't have to. And yeah, I don't want to be, I don't want to be out here in something that's capable of producing, um, like, off of California when this stuff happens, when these conditions do come up, it's really rare, but we get microbursts. And so you can go from basically nothing like this and all of a sudden have 60, 70 knots of wind just slam into you. No, thank you. Combine that with freaking lightning. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, I'll read the uh, the forecast here. It says, isolated thunderstorms possible over the coastal waters of Southwest California into Sunday night. Monsoonal flow and abundant moisture could trigger isolated thunderstorms across the coastal waters of Southwest California this weekend. The thunderstorm threat will initially begin across the coastal waters of Orange and Los Angeles counties this morning, then overspread the entire coastal waters by this afternoon into Sunday night. Any thunderstorms that occur over the coastal waters could cause very hazardous conditions for mariners. Any thunderstorms that occur will be capable of producing brief gale force winds, rough seas, dangerous cloud and ground lightning, and brief heavy rain squalls with limited visibility. To be proactive, check out the latest radar imagery available. That sounds Menacing. That's the hailing force down there, Power Patrol. Go ahead on channel 12. I guess moorings here in Port Slow are only like $8 more than what the Anchorage price is after you've been here for a week. You get a solid week for free. But since we're seeing some weather come up on the forecast, and uh, about six days from now, it looks like it's supposed to get super windy, I think we're just going to pick up a mooring and get some projects done. <laughs> And yeah, hey, see how it goes. Do you know if these are the guest moorings? Yeah. Yeah, sweet. Thank you. Got it. We left at like 5 a.m. and got a few miles out, and the Coast Guard started broadcasting the emergency thunderstorm severe. Oh, gnarly. You know, uh, like sudden gales and stuff, like from here all the way around Point Conception, so like, nah. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Back in Avila. Here we are, waiting on a weather window. But isn't this the definition of cruising? Working on your boat in exotic places? So baggy wrinkles to protect the sails from chafe. And some editing. We also hang our second propane tank and finish installing the stern rails.
looking at the sunset through the windows and Garrett just starts like, I think we need to go sailing, sunset sail. And then he said, I don't need to do anything. He's attaching the dinghy to the mooring. Gonna drop the mooring, motor out a little bit. It's pretty flat. We might find some wind a little bit past the breakwater, uh, but we'll see. Sailing. I wanted to see if I could point and get up around that buoy. <laughs> we sitting in idle, neutral? Yeah, we're neutral. We're just sailing. But I wanted to see if Red Aviva could point high enough to get around that buoy. <laughs> <laughs> get out to where there's some wind though, shall we? <laughs> Further out we got, the wind increased, so Garrett went forward to tuck in our first reef. Once the reef was set and the sails trimmed, she was back to steering herself. Until the second reef was needed. I decided to take a little day sail, leaving out of Port St. Louis. It's been blown like snot the past, I don't know, week or so since we've come back in. But we figured, might as well go out ah! <laughs> and uh, test the rigging, test the sails.
little sunset cruise. <laughs> Woo! Got a double reef main, full Yankee, full staysail. She sails great. She's comfortable. Just another uh, sea trial, another test. Getting used to her in different conditions. So the boat's wet. Goes. 